Matt for avnation.tv. We are here at Cedia 2018 in lovely San Diego. We are in the Access Networks booth with my friend Bryce. How you doing, Bryce? I'm great. How about you? Doing fantastic. Bryce, this is the first day of the show. We are kicking it off with really the doors just opening and we're getting ready to go. Uh, obviously, we're in your booth and you guys have some great new announcements this year, uh, not only expanding on some of the announcements that you made last year, right? everything's now shipping, correct? Yeah, so last year we talked a lot about our new core systems um, and what that meant for the dealer, uh, being able to select a network solution from the core and then add access points and switches. And then we also talked about our Access Networks wireless product, which is built by Ruckus mm -hmm. uh, with our brand on it and our service and our support. Um, that's all shipping now and has been for months. Uh, the, the, the uptake on it is huge. We've been really successful. Um, and then this year what we're doing was we're turning it up another notch. So we're going with uh, Sophos as our new firewall provider starting in Q4. Very nice. So when you start talking about uh, firewalls, obviously it's something that we recommend in every job uh, for <laughs> every resident and commer uh, commercial environment. What prompted looking at a, a shift and a change of direction sure, for you guys? Yeah. Um, so Cisco has always been a great partner of ours, uh, but the, the thing about Cisco ASA is they all have a stateful firewall, um, mm -hmm. so they're doing inspection, but it's not a constant up to the minute or up to the hour or up to the day type database where it's checking in and getting new threats and, and downloading those and making sure that it's fully protected. It's, it's more of what everybody else does in the room, which is right. kind of a yearly thing or you know when you do a firmware update, it gets a new list, those kind of yep. things. Um, so what Sophos does that's different and what we're including in every core system for four years is daily updates to the threats. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's, 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 that, it puts us out in front of everybody else again. So essentially when Sophos uh, daily pumps out a list, it, it's automatic or is this something? Auto yeah, 100% automatic. So basically the, the firewall will check in with the Sophos cloud and say, hey, you know, what's the, uh, what's the latest threats? Get the new list and add those to the database. Um, there's other features that we're going to be expanding uh, into next year. Uh, one that's called Sandstorm, which okay. is the ability of the firewall to be able to um, actually take in a, a download that the homeowner is trying to make and sandbox it in a cloud Ooh. with a virtual server, okay. a virtual machine, and open that and see if there's any threat. And if it if there isn't, then it allows it to pass. And if there is, it blocks it and tells the homeowner that it's been blocked. What type of time frame? Not not on deployment. Seconds. Seconds. Yeah. That's fantastic. When we start looking at firewalls and, and security, is that really the number one risk that, that dealers now need to be addressing? You know, that's been our take on it. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about how do you roll this into something, how do you make it uh, viable for the homeowner, and it's got to be part of a managed services solution, right? Okay. This, you can't just pick a firewall service and go offer that to a client and think that they're going to buy into that. But it has to be part of everything else that they're doing you know, monitoring, so on and so forth that they're doing for that client. And the, the great thing about firewall services is it actually is a level of security um, that the ho most homeowners don't have right now. Right. And, and uh, when you're talking about the homes that we typically end up in, which a lot of the products in this room end up in, um, those people are our targets. Yeah. And um, they need to have a way to opt in to those services if they want those services, and that's what we're going to be providing. So when we start talking uh, the, the new Sophos hardware, how many, like is there is there a breadth of products that are going to be available, or is it a one skew fits all? No, absolutely. There's a whole lineup. So this is the entry level box here. This is the XG105. Um, it's a very, you know, desktop type firewall SMB, but I mean, they, they thought the product out, like dual power supply capability. Right. Um, this will do about a 200 to 300 meg service with full firewall features. Okay. And then we go up to, there's several models in between where we're kind of topping out in our day-to-day -day work, which right. obviously we can go above this just like everything else we do, networks of scale, <laughs> right? We can go really big. Yep. Um, but this is the XG210. Okay. And this will do full gigabit symmetrical with all of the firewall services enabled. So everything running, full inspection, full logging, yep. and still run gigabit throughput. Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah. So if people want to get more information about all the new wireless that obviously has been shipping for a couple months now, uh, the entire offering that Access has, as well as the new firewall information, where can they do that? Uh, they can find us at booth 5321 here on the floor, or they can just email sales at accessca.com and we'll answer any question they have. Excellent. Thank you so much, right. Bryce. Appreciate your time. Thanks, man. For more footage from the show floor and to learn more about AV Nation, please visit avnation.tv. That's avnation.tv.